Hey everyone. So I made this High Rocks app. I was recently participating in the event in Toronto this past weekend. It inspired me to build a training app to log my workouts and build this app out. So I decided to go ahead and make this. So really excited to show you guys how it works and what it does. But essentially it is built for mobile. I'm going to show you guys really quickly how to use it on the laptop and also how I built it in just a few hours using the BMAD method and cursor. So I'll show you kind of just how the app works right away. You can sign up or log in. I'll just log in. And then what you're going to be able to do is basically generate a workout. I programmed it to give me random workouts that will help me train for high rocks and then log my performance on them. So for example, we'll just go ahead and generate a workout. It's using AI to create a smart recommendation. I program some rules saying like, these are the amount of runs I can do. These are the amount of stations I can do and give a formula of what's possible. So it's constantly changing it up, but it's staying within a variance. And so as you can see, there's like a mix of running with different exercises and finish the runs. And so when I'm done with this, I can go ahead and I can log my workouts. So say I went into here and I just came in, I can then add all my running times, all my exercise times. And the next feature is going to be to add a timer right within the app. But then you can just go ahead and log the workout. Then you could go to your progress and it can actually show your performance and how you changed over time with the various workouts that you did and how much you worked for. And you could track your monthly goal, how many workouts you want to do, and you can just see your performance over time. And then when you go back to, you can also create workouts yourself. You can generate a workout. And then what happens when you go to generate a workout, you can also customize what you're trying to do for these workouts. And what happens is as you generate these workouts, you can customize it and then the AI will learn from what you've done, how you've done what you've been good at and just kind of be your personal trainer essentially. So yeah, really excited for this app and, and just the fact that I built in a few hours. So let's hop over to cursor and I'm going to show you exactly how I built it. So basically what I realized as I was building it with cursor is there's multiple chats. So once you get to the end, you see like 71% context views. It actually says right here, how many tokens. So like, almost 200k tokens used in this chat and obviously it's really long what i did was i used the bmad method if you watch my earlier video to install the bmad method you can just do npx bmad method install it creates this core of agents that you can call you got your analyst agent you got your architect agent your project manager agent and all these agents are going to help you do your job so you don't always have to use just the default agent and they're very specialized for different things. So if I just say summarize what we talked about in five points, I'll just have this, the agent kind of summarize for me, like what we talked about so I can share it with you. But basically what I did was I started out and I just planned out like, what is the plan for this app? So if you see in the docs, there should be a docs folder somewhere here, docs and project brief. So this is what I planned. You know, this is like the problem statement, what I plan to do, proposed solution, key differentiators, target users. And you can see like it's taken a really long time to come up with a response. That's because like the context window is just so huge. So what you're going to want to do is continuously bring a new chat. And one of the techniques that I use to start this new chat is near the end, I'll be like, can you create a prompt for me to paste into the new chat? so then I can just pick up where I left off. And that's what I would do. I would just say summarize, create a prompt. I, so I copy the prompt. I go into the next session and I paste the prompt and we get going again. See, this is another big conversation that I had. So if we go to the bottom again, yeah, it's so long, but I don't even think it, it. But yeah, basically what I did was I had these chats and before I even got to coding, there was a big time, maybe half the time Half the setup was just planning the app, planning the architecture, planning all of that. What I did as well is I set up a super base. So if you go into here, I set it up. I asked the AI to, hey, like, 
I want to set up a super base account. You can find YouTube videos on how to set that up. But basically I asked AI to give me these things called SQL commands. And these SQL commands go ahead and they build the database for you. They're pretty much instructions for the database. And you can see all the tables that the SQL command created, user profiles, workout logs, workouts. So this is a really powerful tool. If you go here, another really important thing that I think is good to know is deploying on Vercel has been really helpful. The nice thing about it is you can actually connect your project right to Superbase through Vercel. So I just set that up here through the storage tab. And yeah, this is what I built really quickly. It's so important to have all of your project plans set out before you start building. Because once you start tweaking something in a very finite area without a top-down approach, it's not compatible with the other areas. So you really want to con continuously go back to what is the documents. And then once you get to the end of one version of the documents, as you can see, I have multiple. I have like a V2 roadmap, V3 roadmap, because I would get to the end of the roadmap and I'd say, okay, I want to start a new roadmap. But what you really want to do is you want to come back, gather what you did, summarize it for everyone, and then create a new roadmap and begin the process again. Because when everyone's on board and understanding what's going on, that's when you start actually executing really easily.